Hi, my name is Saurav Dehani and in this video we'll talk about approval notification setup and how approval notification entries are processed. This is third video in the workflow series and I'll be adding more as we go forward. In the earlier videos of this series we have talked about what are workflow categories, what are workflow templates, how to create new workflow from templates, what are different approval types and what are approval limit types. In this video we'll talk about approval notification, what different options are available for the notification, how you can set them up and how these entries are actually processed. As I said earlier, I'll be using Business Central 16, which is 2020 release wave one. But you can follow these steps in Dynamics Snap 2016 and higher. So let's begin and open our Business Central. And let's understand where the notifications are defined in the workflow. So let's open the workflow that we have created in previous videos. So if you see when a user requests a approval document and then you go to the responses available, the last response in this is to send an approval request for the record and create a notification. So now let's talk about how you can set up those notifications for users. So as I said earlier, notifications are completely configurable based on users. A user can decide what type of notification he wants and you can set it up based on his or her preference. So as it is user driven, you can set it up in approval user setup. Choose the user for which you want to set up approval notifications and then on the ribbon choose notification setup. When you click on notification setup, there are three options that you see on this page. One is notification type, what type of event that you want to be notified about, what notification method you are using and when you want to schedule it. So we are setting up for approver one and I'm saying that whenever a approval request for me as approver one comes I want it as note not as an email and then I don't want it at the point when the requester receives it because I might be busy. I can set it up the recurrence when I want it exactly at the same time when somebody requested or daily weekly or monthly and when you choose these options there are other options that are available daily means daily or only weekdays weekly means on which day and at what time and monthly means on the first work day of every month last work day or on a custom day of that month. So it's more or less flexible the way you want it. So you can set it up for that particular user how you want it. And the second, I always want to be reminded about overdue if a approval entry is overdue. And then let's assume I want it as email instantly. And that makes sense. And if you choose approver 2, you will see that the notification setup will be blank and you can set it up the way you want it. Let's say note and schedule instantly. So based on the setup, you can define how notification will be sent to different users and during processing those notification system will respect the setups that you have done for that user. 
the other part into notification is that notification if you are selecting of type email then they get processed via job queue and the other thing that happens via job queue is delegation of your entries if you have set it up so if you navigate to job queue entry you will see that a job queue was already created whenever you created this company for delegate approval request it automatically delegates the request if you have set it up on your approval and if you want to see when it runs let's view it so this runs every day and this runs after 24 hours so after every 24 hours this job will run and check are there any entries that need to be delegated and if yes then this job queue will process those entries there will be an another job queue will be added by the system automatically you don't have to worry about it which will be for code unit 1509 and that code unit is used to dispatch all the notification that are generated by the system so at the time of processing via job queue there can be different kind of errors like email id is not correct or maybe uh, your smtp server is not configured so you can either check them here and then there is a other area that you can check which is in a in a workflow approval workflow cases you can check for a page called notification entries notification entries list down all the notification that are scheduled or processed uh, for the approval notifications so here you will find what type of notification it is is it approval is it new record or overdue and we can talk about what new record is maybe in next video and who's who's supposed to get it which record triggered it when it was created who created it as in the sender of it and if there is an error message so you can always refer this page to see are your notification being sent out or not and based on that you, you have an idea that yes notifications are being processed or not then the other thing that you need to remember if you are choosing the notification type of email that you have your SMTP mail set up correctly with the right details that you have either Office 365 or your local SMTP server and once you define these details you can always test email setup which will send an email to your ID so that it verifies that the emails are being sent by the system and if you are planning to use email the other thing that you need to remember is that you should have your task scheduler on on the service tier and that becomes mandatory because job queues are now run from the task scheduler so if you don't know about task scheduler let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll record a separate video if required which only talks about task scheduler so let's do a quick recap before we end this you can set up notification based on each user how they want it when they want it uh, your notifications will be processed via job queue if they are of type email and for that you need to make sure that your task scheduler and your SMTP setup are set up correctly and you can always check the notification which are scheduled or already processed from a page called notification entries I hope you find this video useful as requested in the previous video 
I'll in the coming videos in this particular series will be actual demos of how you can use different approval types and limit types because the comments were that it was a little bit confusing in theory which makes sense because there were so many options in those uh, workflow setup window so I'll try to cover all those by demoing each one of them and then you can decide which one you want to use please share your views questions and suggestions as come into this video please do share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't have a great day and see you next time